Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. We are taking a look at the new build of Redstone 5 for HoloLens. This is build 17720, which is a Redstone 5 build. Uh, just coming out this week. And there's a couple of changes that I wanted to show off on here. So here we are. And I'm going to first show off Miracast. So Miracast is a display streaming technology. And it, it's built into Windows for receiving Miracast. So they it's my Surface setup to receive Miracast. And if I look on here, you see there's that new connect option there. So I can click on that. This is going to be interesting to see if it works while recording. So there you can see it's streaming from my um, from my HoloLens directly to this Connect app. So that could be a Miracast enabled TV or any device like that. I'm not sure it likes recording while I'm doing this, but uh, you can you can see the little blue icon flashing there to show it's in uh, streaming mode. Okay, something else that's new is this Mixed Reality app which I've opened here. And the Mixed Reality app is available uh, for Windows Mixed Reality headsets, like those ones. Um, and you can get these objects so you're not and bring them into your world. So if I go into this category, I think this is outdoors. And scroll down. Um, what you can do with these objects is these are available from the Remix 3D site so I could choose an object like this rose that load, downloads the model from the Remix 3D website and brings it into your hologram environment but n not um, as part of the Windows environment so it's not like using the 3D viewer application which uh, only allows you to see the objects you've downloaded this is like the holograms app that comes with uh, the Holog Hol HoloLens and Windows Mixed Reality so you actually see the objects and interact with them in your sort of Windows environment so you're no longer restricted to the cliff house or to the sort of the fun objects you can now bring objects down from this website as you see there's many there's a lot of them and interact with those so it gives you options for decorating your environments a little bit more um, and you've got all these stuff in there so as well as the hologram app you've now got all these things in here that you can pick from as well and just bring as many as you like and customize your environments the other change is around immersive apps when you you uh, previously when you bloomed mm. like that and you were in an immersive app it would bring you back here but now if you're in immersive app it brings up a little menu I'm not sure I can quite kind of capture this but I'm going to try so I've got an immersive app there and go into that okay yeah it's still recording and if I bloom now I get this menu here which that one normally says photo but because we're recording it doesn't you've got the home button the, the time and uh, the volume change option as well so if you do want to go home you can do it that way like that and that brings it back back home so so that's a nice little way of getting out of oh, to the menu without having to go back to the to the blue menu each time so those are the changes that I found so far with this build of HoloLens uh, Redstone 5 looking really good